I'm Mr. Heffernan here, and this is a quick tutorial on how to do the first assignment. It can be a little tricky. So the first thing you need to do is get a document ready to go. So uh, you can either use Google Docs or Microsoft Word or something like that. So here I've got a document ready to go with my title at the top. It should include your name probably. And then uh, near the bottom, I'm just going to go colon dash bracket. Makes a little happy face. There we go. But you can use a period or anything at all. And uh, it's just nice to have something ready to go so that with some space ready to go to pop in some pictures. So now I'm going to go to, uh, to my web browser, find assignment one. And assignment one asks us to use Google Maps to demonstrate our knowledge and understanding of distance and displacement. So, um, and we're going to do the, do the following scenarios. So scenario two, this is a pretty good one. Um, create a route where the distance traveled is greater than the distance. So you're going to open up Google Maps, okay. and I don't really need uh, this open right over here, so I'm just going to move that. I'm going to find a place that I'm interested in, so um, maybe I'm interested in uh, the park right here. Okay, So I'm going to click on the park right there as a little marker, and then I'm going to right click, and there's an option for measuring distance. So I'm going to come up for a little route. Maybe I'm just going to go around the park. So I'm going to go all the way to this corner right here. It tells me that's 196.71 meters. So I'm going to go Alt-Tab, go back to my Microsoft Word. So that is 196.71 meters. There we go. And the next part of the leg of the trip, I'm going to go all the way up to here. That is 504.75 meters so far. And so I'll just type that in, 507.4 meters, there we go, oops, 504.75, there we go, okay, so far, and I'm going to end up right here um, at the end of, end of the road here, 729.87 meters, okay, there we go. So now I think I'd like to get a picture of this, so I'm going to use the print screen button for that. So I'm going to go uh, function home where the print screen button is located. And what I'm going to do, I can either uh, drop it into paint like this. Oops, I find paint. So it's a paint program on most uh, Windows PCs. Control V, there we go. And I'm just going to go zoom out a little bit. There we go. And I'm only interested in this section right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, hit the selection button here, and I'm going to select that and crop it. Okay. Or if you don't use the paint tool, you could just drop it straight into Microsoft Word. So it's, I've already hit the print screen. It's going to go Control V, paste, and my screen pops in. All right. Or I can grab the doc, what I just did in paint, so I can go select all, choose the copy button, or control C, doesn't matter. Go back to uh, Microsoft Word there, and control V, and I get uh, the other picture. So now, uh, for either picture, it doesn't matter, uh, what you probably want to do is go to the layout options right here and select behind text. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get rid of my uh, other picture. I don't really need that one. There we go. So here I got some uh, some information so far. So uh, maybe I'll just call this waypoints. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So now, according to this picture, the actual distance is um, 729.87 meters. Now I'd like to find the displacement as well. So I can move that picture down a little bit. There we go. Oh, and this was, uh, this was root uh, number two. There we go. So now, I'm going to go back to Google Maps. There we are. And I'm going to hit the clear button. So I'm going to right click. And I click on clear measurement. There we go. So now I want to measure from here to where I ended up last time. So I'm going to right click, measure distance. And I'm going to click right there. And I can see this is 186.74 meters. So my displacement, the shortcut, instead of going all the way around the park, is 186.74 meters. There we go. Now, that's good enough for a level, um, a level 3, although you should probably add in a comment the uh, 
displacement is less than the distance. There we go. But now, if you want to be level 4, you should add the direction. Okay, so to do that, you can find uh, Google Extension Protractor. There we go. And you click on that and go to the Chrome Web Store. And you'll find that there's a protractor that you can get and instructions on how to use it. And this is only if you want level 4 on the assignment. So uh, I've already added it to Chrome, so it's already there. Okay, so I don't need this. And you can see there's a little protractor on my Chrome right there. Okay. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to move the protractor so one vertice matches up with my original point. And then I'm going to move this arm over to west. So there we go. And then I'm going to move this arm over uh, to match up or parallel with the actual uh, line that I drew earlier. And I can see it right here, 62.2 degrees. So if I go west, I have to rotate all the way up towards the north, 62.2 degrees. So I'm going to go back to my Word document, and now I've got a direction. So my direction is, if you face west, you have to rotate, rotate what was it again? 62.2 degrees, 62.2 degrees north. Now the uh, O doesn't look right there, so I'm going to click on that, and I have the superscript button ready to go. And if you don't have that ready to go, you can always right-click on your O, go to Font, and choose the superscript checkbox right there. And now, if you are um, going into um, the military or air traffic control or something where navigation is very important, then you may want to use bearings instead of cardinal directions. So, in that case, um, you'll notice that the, um, the protractor actually gave me the actual direction according to um, a bearing, 297.8 degrees. So, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to write down, or bearing, bracket, uh, 297.8 degrees. There we go. I'm just going to fix that so that it looks right. There we go. Okay, so now it's a little hard to read, so maybe I'll just move my uh, picture down underneath my text. Okay, there we go. All right, or I can even make the picture a little smaller. Just uh, drag it down a little bit like that. There we go. Okay. okay, or you can do whatever you feel is uh, is good communication. So as long as I can read it well, we're, we're fine. The other thing you could do is maybe just um, highlight the text so it's a little easier to read. There we go. Good. So now, once you've finished the assignment, uh, what you want to do is save your work. And in fact, you should be saving as you're working, just in case something happens. And you have to start all over. It's not fun. So I'm going to save that. And then, to submit it, please submit it as a PDF. So you're going to go Save As, Same Folder, and change it to be a PDF. There we go. And, uh, okay, let's just try a different name then. Assignment 2. Alright, and we'll call that a PDF. There we go. Hit save. There we go. And there's my assignment as a PDF uh, ready to submit to the Dropbox. Alright, so if you have any questions or concerns, please contact me. Uh, hopefully this video will help you uh, get this assignment done. Good luck.